multiple websites claim that the Canon EOS R1 will indeed have a dual gain sensor. While the source of the information does have a questionable track record, we found evidence that the Canon EOS R1 could indeed have a dual gain sensor. And this information comes directly from Canon. So stick around after this short message for all the details. But before we get to the details, please subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything, helps this channel grow, and keeps you up to date on the latest camera coverage. Japanese patent application JP 2024-035624 filed on February the 2nd, 2022 and published March the 14th, 2024 claims to solve the problem of effectively reducing the noise component of a pixel signal in a photoelectric conversion device. It achieves this by using a readout circuit that can read out a signal from any pixel array with two different gains. The readout circuit reads the noise level from the selected effective pixel with the first gain and reads out the optical signal level with either the first or second gain for correlated double sampling. Simply put, the patent claims to reduce noise levels, and this is a good thing because noise can, well, obviously, degrade the image. So now that we understand the problem, what's the solution that Canon's employed? While these blueprints are hard to understand, Figure 11 shows us the logic of that photoelectric conversion device, and it includes two main parts, the readout circuit and the signal processing unit. And the readout circuit, represented by notation 902, reads a signal from the pixel array at two different levels of sensitivity. Uh, first of all, let's simplify some of the terminology. Pixel array is short for sensor. So whenever it talks about pixel array, it's talking about sensor. And this particular sensor they're describing is a dual gain sensor. So nothing new here, right? Well, let's continue a little further and you're gonna find out that Canon actually has improved upon their dual gain sensor technology. The signal processing unit directs a signal to the first correction, which is over on the left side. So that first correction unit, what it removes is correlated double sampling, which is effectively a fancy way of saying noise. And after receiving that first correction, the signal processing unit then directs the correction unit to perform the second correction action, which performs shading correction. And this adjusts the signal to take into account the sensitivity or variations in sensitivity across the sensor or pixel array. Technically speaking, the readout circuit first reads the noise level from a pixel using a lower gain or the first gain, and then reads the actual image signal using either the first gain or a higher gain for better sensitivity. The signal processing unit then corrects the pixel signal based on whether it was read with the first or second gain using a predetermined correction value. Simply put, the patent design improves upon the already existing dual gain sensor produced by Canon, only this time it's, well, coming up with a slightly more updated version that allows for better sensitivity, changing how it reads the image, then performing automatic adjustments to make it look better. So this patent application involves improving low light performance, but it also involves taking into account the or adjusting the signal based on the varying sensitivity levels across the entire pixel array or sensor. So we can expect to see this in the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, or at the very least, the Canon EOS R1, right? Well, on January the 19th, Weibo account E8M8888 posted leak specs on the Canon EOS R1, which we also picked up on shortly thereafter. The translation indicates that the Canon EOS R1 will have a 30 megapixel dual gain sensor. So patent application JP 2024 0556624 validates the rumors about the Canon EOS R1 indeed getting a dual gain stacked sensor, correct? Yeah, well, not exactly. It does, it does provide some sort of credibility to that or justification to indicate that yes, the Canon EOS R1 could indeed have a dual gain stacked sensor. But you see, I combed over this patent application in detail, looking at all the blueprints, looking at all the blueprints, looking at the scope of claims, reading a detailed description, and nowhere in this does it indicate the type of device. And it talks about a pixel array and not a sensor, and they are the same thing, but everything about this patent application indicates 
nothing in terms of a specific device. And the patent application blueprints just don't help at all. There's no image of a camera, of a security camera, a PTZ camera, uh, a medical imaging device. And usually when we're talking about medical imaging devices, there's other language in there that leads us to believe that this is definitely medical. And again, when talking about office equipment, such as photocopiers, there's also specific langu language in there that leads us to believe that it is related to a copier. But all of these imaging devices that Canon makes do, do use a sensor to some degree whatsoever. But this does seem, it does seem a little bit plausible, doesn't it? I've got some other information I want to share with you on this. Canon registered two cameras just a few months back, and one of them is a cinema camera based on the registration number. So this patent application could be applied to the upcoming sensor in the Canon EOS R5, in the Canon EOS R1, a cinema camera, something else, or all of them together. But one thing is for sure. Canon recently filed three separate patents on improving dual gain sensors. JP 2024 0356-24, which is what this video is all about, as well as 0-5623 and 0 with neither one indicating the type of device that would get this dual gain sensor, this improved dual gain sensor. And believe me, I tried. JP 2024 0556-23 has some 57 blueprints. I reviewed each one and I've included them at the end of this video if you're so interested. The Canon EOS R1 and the EOS R5 Mark II will get new sensors, most likely stacked sensors, and will get improvements in dynamic range and low light performance. And it's definitely plausible that the Canon EOS R1 and the EOS R5 Mark II, the sensors of both of these two cameras could get the benefits of what's found in these three patent applications. But one thing's for sure, Starting next month in April, or just months away, according to Canon rumors, we should find out about the Canon EOS R5 Mark II next month, which is April. So what do you think? Do you think that this patent application for an improved dual gain sensor is gonna be limited to Canon's cinema line? Or do you think this helps validate those leaked specifications that we got from the Weibo account E8M8888? It's rather interesting. One thing, I say this in every patent application video, but the one thing is, one thing we know for sure here is that Canon has spent time improving a dual gain sensor. So it's highly likely that we could see these benefits in upcoming Canon cameras, such as the EOS R5 Mark II, which is supposed to be announced in some form next month in April, or it could go in the Canon EOS R1. We'll just have to wait and see. But one thing's for sure, if you wanna stay up to date on all the latest and greatest, whether it whether it involves patent applications, camera news, sales figures, or forecasting the market, then I challenge you to subscribe and choose all notifications and to follow me on X. But that's it for now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great Thursday, and we'll see you again soon.